Stop recording. Well, hello there, and welcome to the Target World podcast. This video is going to deal with uh, episode two of season two of Killing Eve, what was on this Saturday on BBC. Uh, I'm having to do it episode by episode, as audio description is only available if you watch it on live on a Saturday evening on BBC One. Now, we have lots of things going on. We have the sort of meltdown of Eve's character because he's panicking left, right and centre about what's happened to Villanelle. She doesn't know if he's alive or dead and it's slowly coming through what she's alive. We have the whole Villanelle character who basically gets kidnapped by these rich English people who has a weird mother. Very fun. I think that's played the guy called Simon. I think he's played by one of the uh, Mighty Bush characters who's very, very good. One of the actors on the Mighty Bush he's very good as this weird character. Um, she basically puts on this fantastic English act accent, the, uh, the woman who, Jodie Comer, who plays uh, Villanelle. You, it just makes me laugh. But when you actually hear her voice, she has the most strongest Liverpoolian accent going. And then she's on this and she has a clean class English accent and then she goes back to the strong sort of Russian accent of Roxanne or Villanelle if she wants to call herself. So we have all this going on, we have this all building tension, tension, we've got all these new sort of MI6 characters because uh, Eve is actually allowed in MI6 this time, we've got new characters who are all sort of either Eton boys or girls who want to prove themselves, we've got all that going on, it's a fantastically shot, fantastically lit. Uh, you've got this fabulous David Holmes soundtrack going on about I must get it on vinyl, which only seems to be on vinyl, uh, which is a good thing. And um, yeah, around this you've got this whole unwinding of Eve because he wants to be with Villanelle. There's sort of a undertone platonic lesbian thing going on with uh, Villanelle and Eve basically and we'll see how that ends. I don't want to know. If you've watched the box set like my mother has, then please do not tell me. She nearly told me, so I nearly uh, had to say something there. Uh, but yeah, it's really annoying that if you're blind you have to watch it week by week where you can't be binge watch it and I'd love to be able to binge watch it but that is changing uh, I don't know if you know Black Mirror season 5 it didn't have audio description and now joys of uh, an RRB campaign now has Black Mirror bleh, sorry Black Mirror now has on season 5 audio description I will do a video on that once I've finished it because I'm in the middle of watching that and Jessica Jones on Netflix once they're both done there will be videos so back to Killing Eve this season seems to be getting as good as the first season I can't wait to see what happens and then we drop that real big bombshell at the end of the episode where Eve walks into, uh, I just forgot her hand as name, who's played by Fiona Shaw, and uh, I think it's Catherine, isn't it? And uh, she walks in and in the living room she goes, don't get mad at me, and Constantine is sitting on the sofa and she really hates Constantine. So we also see where that goes. Yeah, it's a five star episode again. It's brilliant from start to finish. Beautiful lighting, beautiful scenery, extremely funny. Villanelle sort of wandering around supermarkets looking like she's homeless in the Superman pyjamas group and then, you know, manages to talk that poor Englishman into looking after and then ends up murdering him. So it's a normal twist and turns with Villanelle versus Eve episode, but it's really, really worth watching. So watch it and enjoy.